Richard Fletcher alongside me is Walsall reporter Joe Massey here at the Express and Star. Now tomorrow, Walsall under their new interim manager Martin O'Connor travel to Accrington Stanley. Last week in Dean Keats' last game, they went four four two. How do we expect them to line up tactically and team wise tomorrow? Uh, good question. Very good question. Thank you. We don't know. <laughs> Here's the other answer. Uh, come to the Express and Star for all the news. Added to the site on Walsall Football Club. I think there's going to be changes, um, I do not know what changes, and I think the changes might be quite radical. Um, probably in terms of system, more than personnel, but I think, we, look, it was 4 4 2 last week, <clears throat> it didn't work. Um, but one big, it was, that was one of the big, Keats' biggest mistakes, probably have to say that, it didn't work from mm. on the day. They also played so much better 4 3 3 last couple of weeks, they went 4 4 2 at Doncaster during the game and it didn't work and for some reason Keats went for last weekend and it didn't work so what O'Connor said something really interesting in the press this week he said if he's changed things he's changed a lot of things in training not because he felt they were doing things wrong but just because if you keep doing the same things you're mm. going to keep getting the same yeah. results so I think he's mixed up the training sessions I think he's um, George Dobson said they've looked at different formations so I don't know how they're going to go. I just think it might be different. Maybe we look at well, some played four two three one a lot this season. Maybe they will go back to the four three three. Maybe they'll go four five one. Who knows what they're going to do? Um, but I think it will. I think there will be sort of a, a shift in system, a shift in tactics. I think maybe one or two personnel changes as well, just to give them something fresh, just mm. to give them something different to think about, just to give them something else to concentrate on, and just to try something new, because we all know results haven't been good enough, performance haven't been good enough, and I think the players just need a fresh start, really, which O'Connor, of course, is himself, mm -hmm. but maybe just a fresh system and a fresh way of playing, just to try and generate some belief for what is five games that, well, let's be honest, they're going to final fate, aren't they? They yeah, will yeah, determine course, yeah. if we're in League One or not next season, so absolutely huge. And, you know, with the Walsall ball making the decision they did last week, I suppose they're hoping for a new manager bounce for those final five games, and Martin O'Connor sort of strikes us as the sort of character that could maybe generate that bounce, You're motivating players. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, because obviously he's been there the last couple of weeks or month or so anyway. Look, he's a very big personality, mm. he's a very likeable person, he's very loud, he's very sort of, he's in your face, he's very charming, he's He's got good banter, he's won the, won the lads in many ways, mm -hmm. I mean he was a fantastic player in his day. Um, so he will he will have he will have he would have lifted them I think he lifted them I think he lifted them when he came in initially if we're honest. We did see a rise yeah. in performances, yeah. we did see we saw him on the touchline trying to give players more belief. He's a very, very positive person. Warsaw players, they have struggled with belief this season, they have struggled with confidence. I think he gave them some when he first came in. Look, fixtures then did them, didn't they? Like they lost to Sunderland, yeah. Barnsley, Portsmouth. Yeah. They lost belief again. There's no doubt about that. I'm sure his sort of bubbly, infectious personality will lift them again, and that is what we'll still be hoping. They'll be hoping that that gives them a bit of confidence and they can go out and get some points on the board. Mm -hmm. It's just all about points now, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> and uh, injury-wise, are we seeing any players return who might be vital to to the running? Uh, it's Early so we're still in this very strange situation with mm -hmm. Matt Jarvis where we're told I think he's just assessed on almost like a daily basis right. with his ankle. I mean obviously it kept him out for so long, it's a real worry for him. Adam Chambers actually trained this week. Um, he hasn't been fit all season, got injured on the opening day um, against Plymouth um, and we haven't really seen him since to be honest, but mm -hmm. apparently he has trained this week so that's a plus. Whether he'll play a part in the season I think it's too, it's very, it's un, it's un, we don't really know, it's unlikely but we don't know. But they're the two doubts. But other than that, everyone is, is, is fit and firing, really. So, almost a full squad for him to choose from. And it is, it is going to be really interesting to see how it goes. That team sheet at 2 o'clock tomorrow is probably going to be, yeah, yeah, it's going to be the most interesting one of the season. So, Accrington Stanley tomorrow, um, down there as well. I've said that about a lot of teams in League One because it is so tight in that bottom half of the table. What sort of test can we expect from them? Um, an interesting one, um, based on, look, that last season they were probably the feel-good story in the Football League. Mm -hmm. They're in League One for the first time in their history. Yeah, like, it was a, it's a remarkable promotion. They've got one of the lowest budgets in League Two, let alone mm -hmm. League One. So for the job John Coleman's done there is amazing. Um, and look, they started really well. They started really well. Like Walsall, they were in the playoffs mm -hmm. early on, and, they, and they, have, they have fallen down the division. But I think the interesting thing with them is... The fans are still so behind it. They're not. They're not despond. They're, they sort of. They're glad to be here, and they think it'll be amazing to stay up. So there's still a real positive sort of atmosphere around the club. Probably can't say that about Walsall at the minute. No. So I think it's going to be a really difficult place to go. We're told the pitch is horrific. Probably the worst in the league. Who will that suit? 
more so, do you think? Oh, good question. <laughs> uh, well, they play on it every week, don't they? Yes. So, I'd imagine them, but it's very difficult to know. Also, when they hoof it long, they're not a good sight. That's no. the truth there, and they do it too often, so it won't suit them. And they've got players in the <clears> midfield who, you know, who can get the, who want to get the ball down and pass it, and you know, it's a shame that it hasn't, you know, really fired on all cylinders of late. But they've shown that they can do that at times. Yeah, so. and like when Gordon went up front and we went to this four-three-three, they were getting it down, they were getting it out wide, mm. and it did look, it was much more pleasing on the yeah. eye. So. That is an issue. They're going to face an Accrington side who are low on confidence, just like they mm. are. They've had a poor run of results recently. They're only three points above them in the table, but they have got this spirit. They are very, very much a community club. They're very, very together. Um, so that's what they're going to have to come over tomorrow. They're going to be bang up for it, Accrington. Bang, bang up for it. Um, Walsall players have got to be bang up for it as well. And you know, if you're a Walsall supporter travelling to the Crown Ground tomorrow, you know, you're making a long journey, paying a lot of money. What are the sort of main changes that they want to see in their side uh, following on from the Keats dismissal? I think they just want to see, it's the old cliche, but I have a football manager I'll tell you, it's just playing for the badge. And that's yeah. what O'Connor said this week. I think everyone's a little bit exasperated, if I'm honest. I think everyone's gone flat following the Keats, following Keats's departure. Everyone's a little bit fed up with these players, yeah. if we're being honest. Like It's been a couple of years now, most of them have been there a couple of years. It's been massively underwhelming. It all feels sort of like it's coming to a head and it's just, there's not, not many games left. I think we just, fans just want something to cheer now. Mm -hmm. We also have an incredible chance to stay up. They're, three, they're two points off safety, yeah. next three games. Accrington, South and Wickham, teams that are struggling, but it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like that at the minute. It doesn't feel like we've got five huge games to yeah. save our season. It feels yeah. very, very flat. So the one thing, it's almost a must-win game. But the one thing O'Connor and the players have to do is give fans back some belief. They have to mm. find belief in themselves and they have to give the fans something back because everyone is flat at the minute. Mm. And I think everyone's stopped believing a little bit. Yeah. And that's madness because Walsall have got... It's, it's still in their hands. Yeah, yeah, of course. Win the next yeah. three games, winnable games. Yeah. Of course they can stay in the division. But they just need to... I think that's what the big thing tomorrow is. Let's give, let's give everyone a little bit of hope back. Let's generate some positivity mm. because it has gone really, really flat. Uh, okay, so Accrington tomorrow, what's your prediction score-wise? First goal scorer as well. First goal scorer, just <laughs> on the podcast, I think Josh Gordon will score. Josh Gordon, okay. Uh, but I think 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Um, and they're going to have to be more creative in the final third, because that's been a problem from the games I've certainly seen of late. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot of players who haven't um, registered goals or assists. I'd, I'd imagine Cook and Gordon will play tomorrow. I'd like to think yeah. they would, but we'll yeah. say we really don't know what he's going to do. Maybe Gordon out wide and Cook through the middle, but... Yeah, I think it's a real, real scrappy game. I think it's a game both teams will be absolutely petrified to lose. Yeah. Accrington um, will really not want to lose that one at home. So I'm going 1-1. One, one. Fingers crossed it can do it and lift everyone, but I think we all need lifting. We do. Right, fingers crossed. It's do or die time for the Saddlers. Uh, myself and Joe will be at the Crown Ground tomorrow in Accrington. For all the build-up to this one, please log on to expressandstar.com.